In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on March 1, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Florida vs. Vanderbilt The Vanderbilt Commodores will host the Florida Gators today in a Southeastern Conference matchup. The Gators beat the Commodores 61-42 as a 6.5-point home favorite on January 22nd. The Vanderbilt Commodores are 14-14 this season and have lost four of their last five games. Vanderbilt lost to Mississippi State by a score of 74-69 in their last game. Vanderbilt allowed Mississippi State to shoot 50% from the field and gave up 23 made free throws in the game. Scotty Pippen Jr. led the Commodores with 32 points and four assists in the loss. Vanderbilt is averaging 69 9.4 points per game and is giving up 67.2 points per game against, while also averaging 34 rebounds per game and 11.2 assists per game. Scotty Pippen Jr. is averaging 20.2 points per game and 3.9 assists per game, while Jordan Wright is averaging 11.9 points per game and 6 rebounds per game for the Commodores. Vanderbilt is shooting 41.8% on field goals, 69.4% on free throws, and 32.7% on three-pointers. The Florida Gators are 18-11 this season and have lost three of their last five games. Florida is coming off of a victory against Georgia by a score of 84-72. Florida shot 51.7% from the field and made 14 three-pointers in the win. Flandres Fleming Jr. led the Gators with 27 points and five rebounds in the game. Florida is averaging 70.3 points per game and is giving up 64.9 points per game against while also averaging 33.6 rebounds per game and 12.9 assists per game. Colin Castleton is averaging 16 points per game and 9.1 rebounds per game, while Tyree Appleby is averaging 11.3 points per game and 3.9 assists per game for the Gators. Florida is shooting 42.6% on field goals, 73.4% on free throws, and 31.1% on three-pointers. Florida is 2-6 against the spread in their last eight games and 3-9 against the spread in their last 12 road games. The under is 6-2 in Florida's last eight games. Vanderbilt is 8-0 against the spread in their last eight games and 4-0 against the spread in their last four home games. The over is 8-1 in Vanderbilt's last nine games. The underdog is 14-4 against the spread in these two teams' last 18 head-to-head -head meetings. Florida comes into this game battling for a spot in the NCAA tournament and cannot afford to lose here. Vanderbilt has struggled when it comes to their record, but they play hard and have had a few close losses. Scotty Pippen Jr. leads the Commodores and he needs to have a big night if they want to win here. So Florida to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. These teams only combined for 103 points when they played earlier this season due to horrible shooting. In that game, these teams combined to shoot 13 of 59 from three and 18 of 36 from the free throw line. You have to expect a much better performance this time. Vanderbilt has combined with its opponents for 137 points or more in eight of their last nine games, and Florida has combined with its opponents for 156 points in its last two games. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Purdue vs. Wisconsin Number 8 Purdue travels to Madison to take on number 10 Wisconsin. The Badgers lead the Big Ten by one game over the Badgers and Illinois after winning four straight games. The Wisconsin Badgers are coming off of a five-point win over Rutgers in their last timeout. Johnny Davis led the way with 19 points for the Badgers. Brad Davison added 14 points, Chucky Hepburn had 13, and Tyler Wall had 11 in the win. The Badgers are averaging 70.9 points per game on 42.8% shooting from the field. They are allowing opponents to score 66.2 points per game. They are shooting 74.2% from the free throw line. The Purdue Boilermakers are coming off of a three-point loss against Michigan State in their last timeout. Zach Eddy scored a career-high 25 points, Jed and Ivy had 16 points, and Trevian Williams added 11 points in the loss. The Boilermakers are averaging 
7.6 points per game on 50.3% shooting from the field. They are allowing their opponents to score 68.8 points per game. They are shooting 71.1% from the free throw line. The Boilermakers are 8-0 against the spread in their last eight Tuesday games and are 4-1-1 against the spread in their last six games following and against the spread loss. The favorite is 7-3-1 against the spread in the last 11 meetings. Although the Badgers are 10-4 against the spread in their last 14 games following against the spread win. They are 1-4 against the spread in their last five home games versus a team with a winning road record. I'll back the Boilermakers here as their offense should be too much for the Badgers. So Purdue to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Purdue is at 233rd in adjusted tempo according to Ken Palm. When you have 7-4 Eddie and 6-10 Trevian Williams, playing up tempo isn't the brightest idea. Wisconsin is at 198 in adjusted tempo, which is a bit surprising, but their defense has been really solid. They've allowed more than 70 points just once in their last seven games. Purdue has gone under in four of their last five games. They've allowed less than 70 points in four of their last six games. Both these teams have a lot to play for, so no one will get any easy buckets. Wisconsin's defense is outstanding, holding opponents to just 66.2 ppg. They play extremely slowly as well, checking in at 198th in pace of play. Purdue plays even slower, ranking 233rd in pace of play. Between the slow pay, solid defense, and competitive nature of the game, this is a great spot for under betters. So under the projected total is our full game total pick. Cincinnati vs. Houston The Cincinnati Bearcats play the number 14 ranked Houston Cougars on the road at the Ferdinand Center in Houston today. In an American Athletic Conference game, Houston has covered the spread in each of the last five head-to-head -head against Cincinnati and in seven of the last nine that the Cougars have played on a Tuesday at home. Cincinnati has struggled this season and has failed to cover the spread in five of its last six games. And overall, the Bearcats are 10-17-1 to to against the spread while Houston overall is 17 to 11 against the spread. Houston's defense is allowing the eighth fewest points at 59 points per game and holds opponents to a field goal percentage of 36.8%, which is first in the country. The Cougars are also out rebounding opponents by an average of 9.6 rebounds per game. Cincinnati has struggled the last seven games as an underdog, and it's going to be no different in this game. Houston is a strong defensive team, and the Bearcats' offense has been inconsistent at best. In this game, Cincinnati is going to struggle to get to 50 points, and that will be the difference as Houston covers the spread. The Houston Cougars can clinch a tie for the American Athletic Conference regular season title with a victory on Tuesday which will give the Cougars plenty of incentive. So Houston to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Houston is holding opponents, as mentioned previously, to only 59 points per game. The total has finished under in seven of the last eight games that Cincinnati has played on the road versus Houston and in eight of the last 12 games that the Cougars have played during March. The total has finished under in each of Cincinnati's last two games. This is going to be a defensive battle throughout this entire game. Both defenses are very strong and will force the other team to take shots that they aren't comfortable with. Both of these teams also struggle to make free throws. They will leave a lot of points out on the floor. The Cougars have the 339th worst free throw shooting percentage and the Bearcats have the 317th. Neither team is a strong shooting team and these defenses will be able to take advantage of that. I also noticed that the Cougars have the 306th lowest adjusted tempo rating in the nation. They like to get the ball and take their time bringing it up the court. They will try to limit the Bearcats' number of possessions throughout this entire game. Both teams will have to efficiently score if they want to put up enough points to push this total over. This simply won't happen, as they will both struggle to score each time they go down the court. I don't see either team having enough shot opportunities to reach the over, so under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.